Welcome to our featured Harry Potter video from our Prop Store Live Auction 2021 video collection. I'm Sean. I'm Operations Manager here in our London office, looking after the team and the auctions held out of the UK. This year we are expanding to a mammoth three-day auction, as we just have so much incredible content to bring you on November 9th, 10th and 11th, starting at 3pm 3, uh, 3 GMT each day. We've got over a thousand lots from almost 500 different films and TV shows. You can bid online at propstoreauction.com. You can also sign up for absentee or telephone bidding. Sadly, we won't have any in-person bidding this year, but you can watch online with us every single day. Today I'm going to talk to you about some superb lots from J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. I'm going to go into detail on about 10 of these, but there's 25 items from the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts movies in the auction. You can view them all on the online catalogue, as well as a whole host of other content from literally hundreds of other titles for you to peruse and enjoy at PropStoreAuction.com. So, I want to start with a few lots that have quite a heartwarming story behind them. Uh, we've got five lots here, and they're from a gentleman called George. Now, George was diagnosed with leukaemia at the age of four, and when he was coming towards the end of his treatment, the Starlight Children's Foundation granted him a wish of his, which was to visit the Harry Potter film set. So, he went off to set, he met Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter himself, at the Eastern Film Studios while they were filming Deathly Hallows, and Warner Brothers, after his trip, gifted him a few mementos that we can see here. Thankfully, George is in remission and a percentage of the sale proceeds will be donated to the Starlight Children's Foundation. The first one of his is this Harry Potter robe here, the Gryffindor house robe. So not a lot of activity goes on in Hogwarts in Deathly Hallows because Harry, Ron and Hermione are off um, tracking down Horcruxes to uh, get rid of here, must, must not be named. But there is that scene in part two where Harry does go back to Hogwarts and Snape demands that he reveal himself and he does and all the students are wearing these. Now it's made of cotton, uh, got a lovely thick black outer with some burgundy trim, uh, an embroidered Gryffindor badge and some buttons there. Um, it's got a, a little bit of wear to it, which is great, um, but it is instantly recognisable from the Harry Potter series. And the estimate for this is 10 to 15,000 pounds. Now, no witch or wizard is complete without their trusty wand, and we have another one here. And this has got quite a gorgeous little salamander or lizard motif going around the edge, which I think there's about eight of them on here. Uh, it's cast from resin and has been decorated to look like sort of well-worn wood. And that one is estimated at six to eight thousand pounds. One of the most magical and memorable creatures in the whole of the Harry Potter series is Fawkes the Phoenix. That's Dumbledore's Phoenix and he's seen quite a few times throughout the series. He was a combination of CGI and an animatronic puppet and rumour has it that Richard Harris, the original actor who portrayed Dumbledore, uh, initially mistook it for a real bird, which just goes to show how good it is. And we've got these uh, lovely little really vibrant feathers in here um, which were taken from one of the puppets and those are estimated to go for 800 to 1200 pounds uh, next up we have got a lovely gryffindor tie over here the kind of the burgundy and gold which is estimated at two to three thousand and a lot that includes a embroidered gryffindor house patch and a monitor badge which are estimated to go together at one and a half to two and a half thousand pounds uh, I think most people who've seen the films will recognise the acceptance letter from Philosopher's Stone. Um, very memorable sequences where Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon are desperately trying to stop Harry from reading them. Uh, this is a hero version, so it actually has a letter inside of it and a little beautiful wax seal on the back. Interestingly, in the books, the, wa the seal wax is purple. <laughs> So as well as these, which were opened, torn up, thrown on the fire, and they also made a printed version, which is this one. So there's no letter inside, wax seal, and everything is printed. That's uh, for the scene when they all come flying out of the chimney. Now this one has the added bonus of being signed by Rupert Grint, Ron, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry, and Tom Felton from Malfoy. Now, this one uh, does actually come with a Warner Brothers COA and a copy of the letter, so you don't have to open it to see what's inside. Uh, and that one's estimated at 10 to 15,000 pounds. 
I'd like to take you to look at a couple of autographed books that we've got in the sale. So we've got a first edition hardback copy of Goblet of Fire, which has been signed inside by the author herself, J.K. Rowling. It's beautiful there in black ink. And then we've got an edition of paperback edition of Chamber of Secrets, which has been signed inside by a number of the cast, uh, including Rupert Grint, Matthew Lewis, Daniel Radcliffe, and Alfie Enoch. Now those are estimated at uh, 800 to 1200 pounds each. So next we have a fantastic piece from Philosopher's Stone, the first film. We've got an autographed wand box from Ollivander's. So those would have been used to dress Ollivander's shop in Diagon Alley that Harry visits uh, to buy his very first wand. Uh, and they were also gifted out at the premiere in 2001 in Leicester Square. And this one has been autographed by Warwick Davis, James and Oliver Phelps, Tom Felton, Matthew Lewis, Vern Troyer, Devon Murray, Jamie Waylett, Peter Burrows and Chris and Coulson and that one we hope will go for about eight to twelve hundred pounds. From Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone we have Harry's pyjamas. Uh, quite distinctive and hopefully you'll remember them from the Christmas morning scene where he opens his present and finds the invisibility cloak that has been gifted to him and he wears them again in the hospital wing when Dumbledore kind of gives him the rundown of everything that's happened uh, including the fates of Quirrell and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, Warner Brothers actually donated these uh, to the Children with Leukaemia charity ball at Grosvenor House in 2010. So that's some great provenance on those. Uh, they're custom made by Derek Rose, uh, made of cotton with those uh, distinctive white and blue stripes. And they're estimated to go for three to five thousand. Uh, we've got a few crew gifts from the first Harry Potter film, Philosopher's Stone. Uh, we've got a beautiful golden snitch here, which is one of, we believe, only 50 that were made. It's made of gold-plated brass with a wooden box here and it even comes with a little Warner Brothers COA tied up in a beautiful little scroll. <laughs> and then we've got these superb house crests. So we've got Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. And they're cast resin with metallic brass powder mixed in to get them kind of a, a nice cool feel to them and make them give uh, some good weight behind them. And they were gifted as um, sort of mementos to the heads of departments. We think these are going to go for about three to five thousand and then one to one and a half thousand pounds respectively. Don't have time to cover everything here, but I do want, just want to point to you a few more lots that we have here with me today. Uh, from Prisoner of Azkaban over here, we do have Dumbledore's train set, which you see kind of pootling around uh, in the corner of Shot when Lupin is teaching Harry how to do a Patronus. That's three to five thousand pounds. Got Robbie Coltrane's autographed director's chair behind me here. So it says Robbie Coltrane. Hagrid the Giant, uh, that's estimated at two to three thousand. Uh, a school wall plaque crew gift, uh, it's expected to go for two to three thousand pounds. We've got Daniel Radcliffe and main cast autographed replica wands and a lovely Gryffindor banner there, that's uh, one to one and a half thousand pounds. Uh, the autographed uh, acceptance letter that I mentioned earlier is about eight to twelve hundred pounds and there's a cool little Gringotts coin and a crew fob watch which we think will again go for eight to twelve hundred. I hope you've enjoyed this video looking a little bit more in depth at our Harry Potter lot. If you've got any questions at all or want to look at anything in even more detail don't hesitate to contact us on support at propstore.com or messages on any of our social media platforms or even in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer any of those. Remember to sign up at propstoreauction.com for our London Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction on November 9th, 10th and 11th. Thank you.